It's a top dead trade day. Joining us now, our top players, Phil Flynn, a Fox Business Network News contributor, and Alan Nuckman, the chief market strategist at BullseyeOption.com. Round number one, guys, down is up, and even GE is snapping back. What do you think about the blue chip bounce? Well, the Dow for me, this has been a scorching summer, and it's nice to see the Dow actually play ball. But the Dow for me is more of a public relations uh, gauge more than anything else because it's not priced based on market capitalization and there's only 30 stocks. But people follow it. So when the Dow is up, we had that big streak of winners, the biggest streak that we've seen since, I think, 1987. Uh, that's very positive to help out the overall optimism of the market. The Dow is up 10% uh, in the last year of trade. And most importantly, it has followed what happened with the NASDAQ led the way and then the S&P, and now the Dow, the Dow is playing a ball. Right. Yes, the biggest run since 1987. How did that end? I can't remember. Let me go look that up. Oh, never mind. We'll get off that fact. But no, absolutely. The Dow Jones average has been solid. It's been a solid gainer. Uh, and, and, and it should be, right? In some ways, it's been lagging, you know, the tech sector, which has been on fire because of AI. And don't think that these Dow stocks are going to be left out of AI. This is a transformative time in our economy. That's why this markets continue to grind higher. But let's face it, you know, one of the things that we we saw recently in economic data, the economy's too good, right? You know, we saw the gross domestic product surprise to the upside. We saw durable good orders go through the roof. And, and you know, the government was kind of worried that, you know, about inflation. But it looks like there's not going to be a recession. Uh, and I think Alan and I kind of told you that that probably wasn't going to happen. And here we are. Round number two, Japan jump. The Nikkei is up 25% after some lost decades. What do you think is next for the global indexes? Uh, yeah, I think Japan has been hot. It's been a great market right now, and it has been undervalued. We've seen some incredible moves in the Japanese yen for a currency as well. And the Japanese stocks really that were out of favor are back in favor in a big way. Uh, partly because of the way the global economy has been playing out. Now, Warren Buffett, of course, somebody we'd like to follow. He's been very big on the Japanese stocks. He's been adding to those stocks. So it's time to turn Japanese, I guess, if you want to look for some diversification to your stock portfolio. Well, it got to a point where they were so bad, they looked good. And obviously, there was good risk reward. If you look at EWJ, the ETF that tracks Japan, it's still 15% off its 2021 top. So there's more upside. But as far as global uh, indexes, I like EEM, the emerging markets. It's been between 30 and 60 now for the, since 2010. So that's almost 15 years. And uh, it's sitting around 40 right now. So I like the risk reward. Uh, on the upside for EEM if the dollar declines. Round number three, glam, land, slam. Media stocks have been mashed. Would you be a buyer of Hollywood money? And I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know entertainment, and I don't know how to play this sector. So I looked up an ETF. XLC is an ETF that tracks communications, and it's got some of the big boys. It's got Google. It's got Meta and so forth, and that's that's been up. But it's got a PE of 17, so it still seems like a good value here. Um, and I like the chart patterns. I know how to trade. I may not know entertainment. I might, might not be a Hollywood glam guy, but I like when these charts get set up the way this one is. There's no doubt that the entertainment industry and the entertainment stocks going through a historical <laughs> shift right now. And again, it comes back to artificial intelligence. That's one of the reasons why the Hollywood uh, actors are on strike right now. And we're really transforming the way we consume media from where we did just even a couple of years ago. You know, we're getting away from cable TV. We're doing things more online. Uh, and, and, and that's really created this situation. I think what you want to do is you want to look at this sector as one that's evolving and changing uh, and, and, and look for the ones that are embracing the AI technology. On to some Hollywood trivia for your bonus round question. Are the following all true or all false? Barbie has had more than 250 careers. Barbie traveled into space four years before a man walked on the moon. Barbie ran for president for the first time in 1992. These are all true. And I voted for Barbie. I was her campaign manager. No, I wasn't, but I, I think those are all true. Always believe in Barbie. Always believe in Barbie. <laughs> Barbie is the it girl of the moment, and you guys are both winners. Business First Day, and we'll be right back. Yeah, I'm going to hang out at my Malibu beach house right now, guys. <laughs> I got to go, okay? Okay.